Wait. What? Hello everyone and welcome to a video that I thought I wouldn't be making today, but it turns out I am. A few of you yesterday sent me some tweets, uh, there was a comment or two on um, the F1 video, I'll leave a link to that on screen currently, um, to ask for my opinion on something. And it's the Grand Tour game. For those who don't know, I am a massive fan of the trio on this channel. I've made numerous car shows on Top Gear and I did my own original one on GTA gear knobs and of course most recently Forza Horizon 3 the Grand Tour it really does speak for itself so yesterday when I found out that the Grand Tour were making a game I was ecstatic I was seriously energized I was jumping about um, and I watched the trailer with Sam uh, for those who don't know that Sam is my co-presenter and stuff from gear knobs is in my videos and we watched the trailer together and I was excited because it looked like a brilliant mobile game I was really just like yeah what's this this is good I'm, I can get on board with this Sam then said to me, Tom, it looks awful. Look at the end of the trailer. So I thought, okay, why? It's coming to console. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh on this because it is pre-alpha footage. But the game's coming out in three months' time, guaranteed. The game said is um, the game on Amazon's description has said that it's coming out when season three is, and there will be a season pass where each episode will be. Um, Related to the episode that will be airing on uh, Friday when the Grand Tour uh, launches every week. So that's content for the game. That sounds great. We know that's going to be around November, December because that's when the first two seasons of the Grand Tour has launched. The first DLC is probably going to be uh, three muscle cars that they were seen shooting for in Detroit. I'll have some footage on screen now. Uh, so this will probably be the first DLC. The, the Mustang, the Camaro and the Dodge. So, we know they're going to be in the game. But going back to the game itself, yesterday I was excited. I looked past all the floors, I had my rose-tinted goggles on, and it looked good to me. Now that I've had some time to let it settle and look back at it properly from a critical point of view, it doesn't look all that promising. Forza is less than two months away till launch, and yes, it's a AAA game. But this is something they're going to have to compete with. They originally did a live stream with Horizon 3 a few years ago. And um, I think that must have been something to do with a partnership. It must have been the Grand Tour looking about for places for them to make a game. It kind of makes sense now when you think about it. But obviously the deal couldn't have gone through. Because then there was a Top Gear DLC for Forza 7. And we've not heard of anything from Forza Horizon the Grand Tour ever since. Of course, unless you've watched my series. I'll leave a link on screen somewhere. So... What happened is I'm guessing they went away from that live stream and they've now made their own game. And uh, they've got themselves a team and the lead director has done two games, uh, both racing. So sounds promising, right? Well, one of them is quite a good game, Burnout Paradise. I, I do like that game. The other... Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012. Now, maybe I'm being too pessimistic. I know that a lot of the praise and comments on the videos have been positive. I've seen a lot of comments on the Grand Tour Games YouTube channel and trailer saying, this looks amazing, can't wait to buy this. And that's great, people are excited for it. The issue is, as someone who's been a lifelong fan of these guys, it sucks that this might be, or probably will be, their last hurrah. Season 3 will most likely be the end of... Uh, the Grand Tour. I doubt they're going to go on to do a season four. The show is expensive to make. Yes, it's in its money back. I believe Amazon showed a profit margin of one point something million with the show after the first season. But still, their guys are old. They need to stop. And a game seems like a good way to wrap everything up in a nice knot and say goodbye and farewell. It's a nice swan song for the trio. And if executed brilliantly, it could be great because it therefore means we get more replayability in the future from these guys despite them not making more TV show content. So this is my opinion. This is my final overarching thought on the matter. If this game doesn't do well, and I hope that it doesn't, I want it to do good, there are options for you. If you are a gamer and you want to play something to the likes of the Grand Tour or Top Gear, well... Let's have a step back. Let's think about this. BeamNG Drive and Wreckfest are both soft body car physics racing games. 
So there's that if you want for you know, if you got a want for chaos and destruction. If you want to do a road trip, you've got numerous games. There is well, the Forza Horizon entire series. You've got The Crew 2. You've got plenty of car content out there if you want to do a, a road trip with your friends. Then you've got something like My Summer Car, a game that you can build your own vehicle on. You really get that sense of, you know, constructing and teamwork, even though you're on your own. But that could relate you to the Caterham episode, where they built a car in less than it took the time for the Stig to get from London to a racetrack in Scotland somewhere. And of course, when it comes to visuals, you've got well, numerous racing games. If you go back to Forza, you could look at Gran Turismo. There are loads of good-looking car games. Drive Club, for that matter, despite the fact that I do think it's heavily overrated. But still, you've got options. If this game happens to be a bit pants, well, yes, it'll ruin the reputation of the Grand Tour brand, and that will be a shame. And it also means then we'll never get a good Grand Tour game. But your options are open. You've got other possibilities and avenues that you can go down. You've got different conversation streets that you can park upon to play different games that relate very much to Top Gear and more specifically the Grand Tour. So there we go guys, that's my opinion on the matter. Despite the fact that the game does look very PS2, early Xbox 360 era, my hope is still there. I want this game to be good. So by all means, this video is me not crapping all over the new game. I am excited for it and if any of the guys from Amazon are watching this and want my help then I've had plenty of years of watching the show and I can give you plenty of feedback. But still, this video is me being critical because I appreciate and love the show so much. And I love these guys so much. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like down below if you agree with what I said. If not, then leave a comment on what you think of the game. Whether I'm being too harsh or too critical. Yes, it's pre-alpha, but then again, the game's coming out in three months' time, so who knows. So there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you would like me to do a Grand Tour Season 3 recap, let me know. I've got plenty of uh, research footage that I can go off. If you want to make sure you're up to date on all the content for the Grand Tour game, do feel free to subscribe down below and make sure to click that notification bell. I believe that's the new thing you meant to say in an outro. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all very soon for another video. But until then, adios.